In a knot, a line is usually bent or tied to itself. A bend ordinarily is that used to join two lines together. A hitch is a line tied to a ring around a spar or stanchion. Or another line. The overhand knot is a basis for other knots. It is the most commonly used and is the simplest to make. An overhand knot is made by passing the end of a line over the standing part and through the loop. An overhand knot may be used to prevent the line from unlaying, to form a knob at the end of the line, or to serve as a basis of other knots. The overhand knot is also used to increase a person's grip on a line. The overhand knot reduces the strength of the line to 45% of its capacity. The next knot will be a square knot. To make a square knot, Take the end of the line in your right hand and say to yourself, right line over left and left line over right. Pass the end over and under the part in your left hand. Then take the end that was in your left hand and this time say to yourself, left line over right line. Then pass it over and under the part in your left hand. Notice that in a square knot, the end and the standing part of one line come out on the same side of the bite formed by the other line. The square knot is used for tying two lines of the same size together so they will not slip. It will not hold if the lines are wet or if the lines are of different sizes. It tightens under strain, but can be untied by grasping the ends of the two bites and pulling the knot apart. The strength of a square knot is 45% of the line's capacity. The next knot is a figure eight knot. To tie a figure eight knot, form an under or overhand loop in the line. Pass the running end over the standing part, up the other side, and through the loop. Tighten the knot by pulling on the running end and the standing part. Let's do it again. Form an under or overhand loop in the line. Pass the running end over the standing part, up the other side and through the loop. Tighten the knot by pulling on the running end and the standing part. A figure eight knot is used to prevent the line from unreaving when rove through a block. The knot is easy to untie. A figure eight knot reduces the strength of the line 50%. The bowline knot. To tie a bowline, hold the standing part with your left hand and the running end with your right hand. Flip an overhand loop in the standing part. Hold the standing part and the loop with the thumb and fingers of your left hand. Using your right hand, pass the running end up through the loop and under and around the standing part and down again through the loop. Let's do it once more. Hold the standing part with your left hand and the running end with your right hand. Flip an overhand loop in the standing part and hold the standing part and the loop with the thumb and fingers of your left hand. Using your right hand, Pass the running end up through the loop, around and under the standing part, and down again through the loop. The bowline is used to tie a temporary eye in the end of a line. A bowline neither slips nor jams and unties easily.
An example of a temporary use is that of tying a heaving line or messenger to a hawser and throwing it to a pier where line handlers can pull the hawser to the pier using the heaving line or messenger.